Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I don't know what time it is for you in the world, but I know that it's afternoon for me. Well, it's just afternoon for me. And I am Carla from the Giggle Fest and Ray Hans World. I'm so proud to say that. And I am here to speak with you in English. So all you need to do is come in and talk to us. And as I share out, so you know we're here, Mahmoud is going to do some talking so I can be quiet and <laughs> Thank you very much. And thank you very much for talking as well. Out, so, you know, so, so we're here. Who oh, is Mom like... Is, going to do some is it me? It was me. Okay. So hello, everyone. This is Mahmood from Karachi, and I'm one of the co-hosts. And oh. I'll be assisting uh, Carla in a show. I would like to welcome you to Carla Richmond, Car Carla Richmond's Learn to Speak English by Speaking English show. So, Carla has started this journey from July 2017, and it's almost like um, lots of months, eight months maybe. Yeah. You know, and I don't even. Um, I have started this uh, journey with Carla from August, maybe like end of August, something like that. No, you started in July. You used to. Oh yeah. So first began. Oh really? And I so, remember once you came in with a phone, and Mara said, "That's Mamu Alam. Let him in." <laughs> so, you know, at that time. We, I have, there was a decision which I took that I should go and see how I uh, would respond to the show. I would, I wanted to speak, you know, but there was no platform. So there was so aggression in me, you know. And then, then I found the Carlos show. So, you know, it's almost like eight months and I can feel different, uh, difference in me. Like I'm more, more vocal. I found beautiful bunch of people here, like uh, Carla, like my sister Amreen, brother like Ali, and other uh, beautiful co-hosts. So it's just not a show. It's like a complete package where we have like sometimes we agree with one, sometimes we di disagree with each other. Sometimes we do this, sometimes we do that. But the most important thing is that this is part of our life now. Sometimes when I have nothing to do, I say, okay, I wish I had a show. So, like, I would have met again. We you just text each other. Oh, my friend. I am seriously thinking about it now. You <laughs> and I are going to talk and we're going to get you online and you're going to begin. Yeah, I'll, I'll... I'm dealing with Ambreen and getting her to do it, and then you're next. Yeah, uh, I would love to do it. I would love to do it, but, you know, I would do it with some work on it. Like, uh, I would do it uh, with some uh, thing solid, so that I need to you know, figure it out that where, where should I start with. And another I thing know. is... That I know what I'm going to have. That would be great if you. <laughs> that is great. So, um, Just you know. Give me the chance. I will do it for you. Then I would love to do that. And the most important thing is that we love to try to motivate each other and help each other out. At least we have, right. haven't met most of the people, you know, by person. But it, we are together and we are with each other. So that is the most important thing. So it's just not a listening and speaking skills. It's more than that for us. So it has become our life. So indeed it is. Very very well said. Indeed it is. Uh, so welcome, Noor. And 
the, you know I, i could speak like for an hour or so but i don't want to get <laughs> no, uh, emotional <laughs> so no, i don't no. want to get emotional and you so like that uh, i all i already took enough time <laughs> so um guys let's come to the show and um there are few rules two actually <laughs> number one you need to turn on your cam and uh, rule number two is do not unmute yourself please do not speak until your turn comes so whenever your turn comes one of the co-hosts will unmute you and you will be given a chance to speak so um with that i would go to amreen so if you could like introduce yourself first assalam alaikum i am amreen from karachi pakistan i am here to improve my english which is, is still very bad but i am trying to my best and everything what can i hear you say yeah no. do you okay. can uh, say I, that i know i didn't I, i i have i have muted her so carla you can speak whatever you want to speak so i have muted her you know i just yes. said what i had to say to her and she knows better <laughs> okay i love to drive i love to this show which is improve myself and i am confident right now and i want to put people join and people learn <laughs> how to interact with each other and how to interact with other uh, nationalities and it is very important as a as a nation i think so over no, to you i am brain it's not only as a nation it's for the world it's not just pakistan it's everyone yes. when we say us or we say pakistan or israel we're blocking out everyone we need to begin to realize that we have a global world now and we can yes. meet everyone at any time or any any place easily and until we begin to realize that and take this a step further we're missing out on what what this internet can do for us i mean you guys have become like family to me and yet the only person from Pakistan that i've met so far is rayhan in the group and he doesn't come to the show for many different reasons but what i'm saying is we need to look at it as a world and not just pakistan and not just israel or the us but the whole world okay i my i'm finished for now Okay, uh, Amrin, do you want to say something else, or are I you done with the uh... afternoon? Okay, so uh, Nurula, please. Okay, thank you guys, and Assalamualaikum to all of you. Uh, Assalamualaikum, guys, uh, who was watching on Facebook. This is Nurula from Saudi Arabia. I'm one of the co-hosts, and I'm also here to improve my English. and guys we have group on facebook learn to speak english by speaking english so join that group and you will get more chance to improve your english uh, yesterday thank you we all forget- to you mehmood bhai no yesterday we forget your uh, uh, you are uh, promoting your <laughs> your group no i did actually <laughs> yesterday i did Uh, you did? I never forget to promote my groups. I never, <laughs> I never forget to promote my groups. I did. Uh, <laughs> I'm free. Okay, I, sh- I think I miss it. Yeah. That one. So, I think uh, I want to say something, which is uh, uh, maybe related. This thing, uh, ship is very secured in uh, in seaport, but ship never made for seaport. it is right mahmood bhai uh, i translated right uh, jahaz uh, 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 bandargahon ke liye nahi bane you you translated right and very well said that is the importance i mean if somebody can understand you know that uh, yes uh, amrit do you want to add something else like no, i think very uh, nice it is, yes uh, so please join it and whatever whenever you are not swim how uh, whenever you are not uh, jump on the sea how you can uh, uh, you can become a swimmer so please join and learn 
it is very great platform i mean yeah over. let me rephrase yeah let me rephrase what uh, she want to say like uh, if you are watching us right here on your screen and you think it is uh, the most difficult thing that we are doing no we are not doing the difficult thing it would become easier only if you join us and give yourself a chance i mean we have said a yes once we were sitting like you were you are right now in front of the screen and all what we were thinking should we go find the shell there was two ways one was yes and one was no yes has led us toward what we are right now if we would have said no we would be have been like on the same position and still watching the show like this so it is not a difficult job to do all what you need and is to convince yourself to say yes to yourself yes carry on one thing more it is not a uh, tea soap so why people say said this uh, all these same uh, faces all these same faces we are we are not bring some people in our home you are joined and you can, you change this uh, faces in this show so you can join it and every day i l- l- i hate this line ke every day same faces on the show why you said this when you said this i am really surprised i'm not we are not paid actors <laughs> we are not <laughs> i have just read uh, i have just read a comment on uh, facebook that only two countries us and uk people use english oh my so god that come, that, that, that come yes. comment has come from n ray salar uh, so oh. salar sab you know what he should come totally wrong <laughs> yes please what? join and talk he should come yes kala Yep. and that is very that is very unknowledgeable and the reason i say that is that there is one language that everyone is using throughout the world i am not saying by any means that people should give up <clears throat> their tongue people should continue to speak it or do people should continue <clears throat> to speak their yeah. own language but there needs to be a language that we all can understand because the world has become global and that global language needs to be <coughs> known needs to be used so we all can understand each other and speak speak and do our business or do whatever we're doing you are so true carla and you know people are so wrong on this perception that uh, why do we uh, promote english and why do we want people to learn it you know english is a global language and you cannot stay isolated in this world if you want to do something in your life you can do it while you don't speak english but you know if you want to do something internationally and do you want to connect with the world one thing which would be more um, which will keep be a big restriction or big hurdle that w- that would be a language barrier you know there are lot of languages in the world like like i i speak yeah there is a pashto there is like uh, spanish there are this dutch language finn language and lot of languages but one thing is common that majority of the people know how to communicate english whether it is from the beginners level or from to towards the advanced level somehow they know even we have like uh, uh, even we have like uh, one of our uh, good example is from like lukman lukman bhai he he lives in um, that remote area of the uh, khyber pakhtunkhwa but uh, afternoon and i was just i told him that i was amazed the way he was responding you know he was completely understanding us 
even though he was at uh, feeling hard time responding at the first time but gradually and slowly he is now communicate but you know what what language is he using he is using english so you know that that is the importance you cannot stay isolated with this word so i have uh, 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 mahmud bhai i have a uh, one friend he is from romania romania and he knows the french he knows romanian and he want to speak uh, he he speak very well in english but he is a, she is a school teacher and she want to uh, uh, she want to uh, uh, some test and she learn english and she want to speak in very fluently in english and uh, it is very uh, people learn languages and it is very necessary when we learn language when uh, we are uh, we feel uh, very comfortable to talk other person and it is very necessary and every every era uh we have one connecting language this era is english and why we forget this this is the era of english and we uh, we never isolate uh, to uh, to ourselves to learning english if we want to connect with the pupil if we want to connect with the le- learning in in every matter in education it is big hurdle we are not as uh, we are not very well at how to speak and how to write and how to be read it but we don't know how to read and uh, write and how to speak so it is very good thing to learn other language and i i'm surprised people know this thing and uh, one thing more i learned persian and it is a set language and <laughs> i totally uh, when i was learning this language people asking me why you learn it is this uh, this uh, the other side learn this language and why you learn i think it belongs to language belongs to sets we are very you know narrow minded people and we are not uh, open our mind our mind to um, learn other thing which is uh, uh, and everything is useful indeed it is color do you want to add something yeah i can yeah. see your hand it it's very interesting because in almost every country in the world english is being taught whether people want to want it or not if you speak it and this is the language that is being taught throughout the world then you can speak with anyone that you come into contact with i've traveled through the world different places in the world and everywhere i traveled in denmark in <clears throat> italy in india to name a few places there are people who speak english and those people who speak english have that opportunity to speak with other people you know why not use the knowledge you're given in school make it make sense you already have it those people in pakistan i'll tell you right now that man who said it speaks better english than many of the immigrants in the united states people are afraid to come on the show because they think oh i speak weak english i cannot speak english i'm not making fun of you guys but you are wasting your own abilities and your own capacity by not coming in and not using what you've learned in school when you learned you guys learn to read write and then speak. when you're learning a language as a child you speak you read and then you write so if you can do the reading and writing you are ready to speak you can do it stop being so scared of it and just do it that's the platform this is about that's what this platform is about i'm a native english speaker and i just said a sentence completely backwards 
But he cares. You really don't care. And we're not going to worry about someone who's not a native English speaker saying something backwards. I'll just ask you a question or one of someone else will ask you a question to make it make sense. Now, come on, people. Stop this craziness and use what you've been taught. You have it. And Mama, I don't know why you are muting yourself, but I am going to get on you about that. Um, uh, just because there was background noise, so I just wanted, uh, uh, didn't want it to interrupt you. Uh, but you, you, you made a very important point, yeah. You know, it is very important. So, uh, like, uh, everyone is... Uh, <coughs> English is, is important, that's what I think, because it's a global, global language. And so before we have like Wajid and uh, uh, Ahmad with us, but before going to, uh, towards them, I would like Noor to put some light on this, the importance of it. Carry on, Noor. Thank you, uh, Mahmoud Bhai. <clears throat> yes, you and Kala also made a great point. Uh, I'm so agree with you guys. <clears throat> like, look, uh, guys look like me, uh, who he, who has been changed totally when he joined the show, because I was only uh, speaking two language, then three language, uh, Arabic. I learned first Arabic, then English. But the English is work right now because I learn English more than Arabic and I'm always communicating with the people uh, with who I'm working. So it's totally changed me, you know, like look at my beginning section and look at me right now. Like I have no degree. I have no good qualifications. A guy without degree, a guy without qualification, if he can speak English, so everybody can does. Like you also give an example of uh, Lukman, the guy who is not able to walk, but he can respond in English just because of the show. So this is a platform uh, where people can gain confidence, can gain, uh, you know, uh, increase the speaking skills. This is the platform where people can connect with the world. This is the platform where you can improve yourself, who you are, basically, as a human, you know. Yeah. So, yes, this is the platform. And uh, thousands of people has been changed. Thousands of people has been, uh, you know, improving. Like, if you, if you uh, go offline and you see how many messages you're receiving, if you see how many people responding on that, you know, so it's very good. Like uh, for me, I'm totally changed. So there's also people, they are changed. And the show is not only a show, it's kind of inspirations. It's inspire you because there's also uh, sometimes we have special guests. Yes, Carla is one of inspirations. Uh, she doing a really good job. There's no doubt about it. You know, a person who can love, uh, who can make, uh, you know, love people, a person who did, really good for the humanity and she's still doing there's no doubt about it so that is the inspirations like look at mahmoud bai if i wasn't take initiative to join the show i maybe never speak with him you know so this is the platform that i speak with him and i learn something new look at ali bai he is doing like a tremendous job in in, in this platform and i also learn something like a person who never understand what is listening skills but I work on it when I know I have to listen to others, even they are wrong, but I have to listen to them, you know? So, so this is the platform who changed me, who made me something, who told me, Noor, you are who you are. Let's, let's, let's like, I was like a diamond right now, you know, like sometime I'm, I'm responding confidence and I'm thinking, oh my God, I was like this. I never thought about it. Then look at Mara. You know, like Ambreen as well, like look at, she have like a good confidence to speak as much as she want. Come on guys, let's, let's do, let's connect with the world. Let's make ourselves as popular. Let's move forward from that one point. Let's make another points. So we will be succeed in the future. Okay. Inshallah. Well, right. that Noor. 
no one is ever wrong. Ever, there's always two sides to every story. You may feel someone is wrong because you don't agree with them. Don't shake, don't shake your head. It's okay to think someone's wrong in their thinking. But at the same time, everyone has their own opinion and everyone has their own way of thinking. And we need to be respectful of that, regardless of what may come out. So when you say, even if someone's wrong, it doesn't matter. But the point is, if you're going to be abusive to the person, then you need to have, you know, there needs to be some discussion. Okay, we unmuted, we may, and I'm on computers, we need your name and not your company name. And then we'll consider bringing you in. Okay? Uh, Kala Mahmoud Bai is busy, so can you make me a co-host? Right now I can handle it. Okay. Before I used to do this on my own before Mahmoud and Ali decided one day when I was about to quit, we're not going to let you quit. We will have you, we'll change things around and we'll be co-hosts for you and make sure you can do it. Okay, Abdul Rajan, you came in first, but I'm going until we have more people, we might as well just have a conversation. Abdul, what do you think about this topic? Thank you, Carla, for giving me this opportunity. As uh, I listened to uh, you guys talking, I think you are talking about the learning uh, uh, importance of learning English and uh, why one should learn and uh, what may be useful for one in learning English. So I want to add uh, some points to this. Why we should... Can you guys listen to me? Yes, just talk. Okay, okay thank you. Thank you. Uh, there was no response there, so I thought uh, maybe I'm not <laughs> audible. Abdul, when... When you're talking, there sometimes isn't a response, so everyone can listen. Normally, everyone is muted, and we're going to go back to that right now because we're getting a lot of people. Now. We're getting people in now. So, um, engineer, will come back to you, <laughs> but I'm going to have to mute you. I'm sorry. We're going back to our uh, new rule, old rules. Go on, Abdul. Okay, thank you, uh, Carla. Okay, first, uh, I think why we should learn English. Uh, there's a lot of words, knowledge in, in English language nowadays. In any field, uh, you, if you are interested in any field, whether it is medical, engineering, uh, humanitarian knowledge, or anything in the world, uh, you, you can find a lot of knowledge uh, in English language. So. Uh, this is the most important if you want to, to learn something, if you have thirst for learning and knowledge, uh, you should learn first English language. The second uh, thing, there uh, you can say, there are if uh, somebody is there who don't like English or he more like his uh, uh, language, native language, whether it is Urdu, it is any other language, then I think uh, this is must, uh, for him or her to learn English, because if uh, he don't know English, how he can translate that knowledge to its native language for its people. So if one, if one, one wants their people to speak or to uh, learn in their native language, uh, this is uh, you can say more compulsory for that person to, to learn English so that he can translate that knowledge in, uh, in his personal in, uh, native language. Because uh, if you want to change something, first you have to introduce uh, something as a replacement that other people can use. If there is no knowledge in your native language, how, how people will go to that language? So I think these are most uh, important point for me why you should uh, learn English. And uh, this is uh, 
uh, Carla's show is uh, a very, uh, you can say, useful show for this purpose. And uh, here you can speak uh, without any hesitation, without any uh, barrier, and uh, you can learn very well and effectively. So thank you, uh, Carla. If, if you thank you, Abdul. It's very nice to hear you say that. But I Thank always you. give credit to the person who talked me into doing it because, believe me, it almost didn't happen. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Allie, are you... Okay, are you finished, Abdul, or do you have anything else? Oh, yes, yes, Carla, I finish. I, I, because I think there are a lot of people, and I want to give the opportunity to others. Uh, maybe there are some pe new people there. That's why I stop. I finish my talk. Thank early. you, Rajesh. <laughs> Thank you. Is Thank it you Wajid or Abdul? I'm confused. Ab Abdul Wajid. <laughs> this Abdul is Abdul Wajid. Wajid. So, what do, do we Wajid. call you? Wajid. You can say me Abdul or Wajid, no problem, but it's Abdul Wajid, my full name. Wajid makes make it easier for her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm Choose getting one. better at that. Rayhan no, no, you are, you way are back baby. in July, and I never really got it. I'm getting <laughs> better now. Um, Ali, we can only see from like your mustache up. <laughs> is, it, is it better now? Now we can see on all your forehead up. Uh, and we are, see, we are seeing, uh, we now are we now can see you your ceiling. Is it better? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> uh, no, the, uh, assalamu alaikum, first of all. There was, there was a salon behind me and I was forced to do this. I'm so sorry. Oh. Uh, so I, I think you were talking about the importance of learning English language, right? Yes. Yes. Um, so yeah, we you were talking about this. Yeah. Just one sentence, uh, which is coming from my direct experience from my workplace. Um, a new guy was hired a few days ago um, in my department, and his education is similar to mine, uh, his age is similar to mine, experience is similar to mine, but his English is much, much be better than me, like five times better than me. I think he grew up in United States. And because of that, he was hired at a very nice position and he is given a lot of different tasks that they uh, that I do not qualify for. And I, I, um, I mean, I accept that. I'm not complaining. I'm just trying to say that that's the importance of learning English. You, know, you have to be very good at it. There are some groups who I've seen many posts on Facebook. Uh, you have to promote your own language. Fine, you know, there are big languages in the world. Um, Chinese is one of them. Chinese are learning English. Uh, are they stupid? Italian, Spanish, you name it. You know, you have to go with whatever is going on in the world. Majority is is speaking English. You have to understand that. And if you want to go ahead with the world, you have to learn. That's what I want. And the other thing is, Ali, it's taught throughout the world. Yeah. I don't care where you're from. Almost every country teaches English. So, you know, I have to admit, I was a teacher myself. There are many things that the schools teach that are not practical. But you're learning it anyway. Why not use your education? Simple as that. And it's time that we use it because if we use it, we're going to be giving more back to society. And didn't you have a discussion during your during one of the events about this? Yeah, um, kind of. There was a talk about. Um, it's, I mean, Pakistan is, I think, no, number fourth in the world who is uh, doing f freelance work on Fiverr and Upwork and all those websites. And you do not talk there in Urdu. You have to learn English. And many, many of the of the people from Pakistan who want to do this are not able to do this because they are not very 
good with uh, communicating in english so that's one of the things you have you have to do it in you if you want to live in the world which is growing right now you have to do it you have to learn it there, there is no other way yeah i mean why am i doing the five by fives with right hand employees which i'm not you know i'm doing it for that reason because they communicate with people all over the world and the common language is english I spend a lot of time with them. They become my friends for that simple reason. Okay, let's move on to one of these people. I think Engineers. it's What does E N G R stand for? Engineer. Engineer. Oh, I was right. But what do I call you? Engineer. I call you engineer. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Is yes, that, you call. Is that what your friends call you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically, my name is uh, Ahmed Faraz and uh, this is my, uh, all, all all you listening me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. So this is your time to talk. So talk. Basically, basically, yesterday my boss told uh, told me about this group, and he said for the uh, uh, for for learning the for learning and improve my language. Basically, uh, on your topic, I am uh, I am uh, I am telling you about my experience. Basically, I am uh, uh, IT engineer, and uh, in this industry, I was working since I think from the ten years. So. Uh, but uh, in early years uh, in uh, when i was in very in technical world so there's no need for the english uh, communication skills and that all things but right now and uh, after the 8 to 10 years uh, right now i'm on the position or i have a designation uh, as a team leader or uh, assistant manager so that's why uh, right now i i need to communicate with the higher management and other other ones so that's why i am facing the problem on the my on my written skills basically when when you are talking with, with anyone on the on english uh, there's uh, no uh, is such a you you can't basically you can't face uh, the problem but on the written skills i think it's it's uh, very difficult to uh, uh, very difficult to communicate with uh, your bosses and all all the others so that's why i am jo uh, joined this group for betterment of my english and uh, want to learn and want, want to improve and uh, this is this is basically i think the uh, good platform for uh, uh, like uh, me or an or other persons to improve and learn the english i think so welcome ahmed faraz and but please your name is very beautiful and you know your name is a very big poet name so please yeah. remove from your name <laughs> we are very it's a very you know irritating for me <laughs> because i love his poetry so please engineer remove from your name and i am i am also right i am also oh. right <laughs> very nice and, and uh, uh, poetry is uh, in my blood you can say <laughs> okay. it is so, uh, it is uh, uh, it is uh, from your uh, name it is because from your name yeah <laughs> i think it's impact or maybe i don't know but it's, it's from the beginning i i was uh, because reading uh, is the main important thing is the reading and uh, when in the childhood and after that you uh, re uh, read and uh, all, all types of books and some stuff so that's a thing i think uh, th and then i, I was uh, so much interested in literature especially in urdu literature and oh, all no. the things He so froze. no karna we can hear him we can hear him you froze <laughs> no i are you there no. Yeah, he's here. Yes, we, we, we can hear him. We can hear him. So, Carla <laughs> is having some trouble, I think. Yes, I can hear everyone else. So, 
Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not having any, any problems with anyone else, so I'm not sure you're. No, but he's he's also sitting very still. You know, he's he's moving. Yes. So, yes. Emma, do this, do this, hand, shake hand, something. And talk. I am listening. Okay. See, see. I am listening. I am listening. Yeah, I am listening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Emma. Uh, <laughs> Well, you you said a very very important thing. You said uh, the, you recognize the importance of reading, and that applies to English as well. You know, yeah, especially, yeah, especially yeah. the writing skills. When you yeah. read, you start to develop the style of writing in the books, in whatever you are reading, in the newspapers. Which, which kind? Which? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. So um, that was a very important point, and I just wanted to. Read. And I think it's. Uh, and everyone's yeah. showing their books now. <laughs> it is very beautiful book. All I can show is the electricity bill without a light. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> We miss you, Mehmood Bhai. You were silent all these days. We miss you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> By the way, thanks, boy. uh mahmud bhai the shadows behind you just remember me my childhood we was playing like you know in the front of light and we would make shadow behind us <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh my god yes. oh, yes. <laughs> i think i think we all of we all of us uh, uh, remember the childhood this activity Yeah. We should talk about childhood some some day, you know. That would be fun. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A long time ago. <laughs> yeah. For... A long time ago in the Philadelphia suburb. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm forty miss... years old now. I'm forty huh? now. Okay. And it's nine forty-five now. Am I? You are you are younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking age. <laughs> so, Carla expected that the person is going towards her, and she's like, "No." <laughs> so, Carla, nine forty-five. We are. We have a lot yes. of uh, people to cover. So, yeah. let's ask if Emma Faraz has any. Uh, Thank you. Any Thank poetry you, to Carla. Share. and you can uh, you can uh, uh, share one uh, you can share one uh, verse of ms if you want <laughs> of yourself or ms for us or whatever you want uh, yes i shared a verse with of alama ikbal few days ago if you remember with you and ali no but ahmed faraz is here we have to hear yes. from the legend yes. himself yes oh really yeah yeah ahmed go so, i i did not get the point basically No, we we want to hear some of your poetry, either yours or Ahmed Faraz's. Ahmed Faraz. In Urdu. Yes. Yeah, Carla will put some something in her ears. Yes, for two and Ahmed Faraz never uh, never wrote in English, <laughs> so you can. <laughs> Go, Ahmed. That's, that's your opportunity. <laughs> Go. Two lines. Uh. uh john is uh, also my favorite poet so i think i, I can share his uh, some lines good enough and go go, go ahead he he said he said main bhi kitna ajeeb hu ke itna ajeeb ke khud ko tabah kar liya aur koi malal bhi nahi malal bhi nahi yes <laughs> Yes. Very nice. Now, now, Mahmud Bai will translate for us. Mahmud Bai, go, uh, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you very much for putting me in awkward position, Ali. Mahmud Bai, Mahmud Bai, it's your exam. <laughs> Can you repeat that to me? No, I was kidding, Mahmud Bai. I was kidding. Don't blush. <laughs> Mahmud Bai is all red right now. Mahmud Bai, don't worry. <laughs> So, Ahmed Bhai, if, it, if is there anything else you wanted to share? By the way, please come uh, on frequent basis. It will be uh, yes. great to by, see by, you. By the 
by the way i have the divana kali but uh, right now i think dude, we don't have time for this thing so ahmed bhai dekh le bata mujhe ahmed that ahmed that would be too much for me to translate <laughs> and now it's going to be mad at me because i keep on bringing people who come into the waiting room and there's someone there now and i I sort of want to bring him in, but I don't know what Ali will say to me. I, I will leave at ten o'clock anyway. It's it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Emma, uh, thanks a lot for coming. And any last words? Thank you, thank you so. Yeah, uh, 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 Inshallah. I think uh, uh, I, I, in, uh, this is uh, the good platform for uh, me and i think for uh, improve my, uh, to improve my english and uh, all the things uh, well uh, will join and try to join you in future i think thanks a lot them thank you so much wait a minute i thank want you. to say something to him yes. ahmed yes. tell your boss because we're beginning to set up a program for businesses if he wants something in your business let me know uh, at your company okay ahmed ahmed I, i don't think he yeah. understood you are listening uh, what kala said no 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 i i can't ali i did not Is get is like uh carla can you repeat one more time please we are setting up programs for businesses so if your company is interested in having a program there it can be done okay so you understood am i for us bhai which kind of business ने वो कह रही हैं कि इंग्लिश टाइप का इंग्लिश सिखाने का प्रोग्राम जो है वो कंपनीज के लिए भी शुरू कर रहे हैं कार्डा और okay. तो मिलके तो अगर आपकी कंपनी okay. भी इंटरेस्टेड हो तो अपने बॉस को बताइएगा कि ऐसे प्रोग्राम इन, इन, मतलब इंट्रोड्यूस होने वाले हैं अमेरिकन बेस्ड श्योर इंटरेस्टेड हो तो प्लीज शेयर करें थैंक यू अहमद भाई All right. Now, you want to speak to everyone, but I just looked at the time, and I have to leave on time today too. If we don't get to you, please come on Monday, and we'll make sure we get you in. Okay. Nod okay. your head if that's okay. But the second Emma has been waiting for so long. So yes, yeah. yes, I know. And he's been and... waiting very, very patiently. Yes. So okay. So nicely. Hello. And I didn't bring in new stuff for Khan. I don't know who brought them in. I did. I did. Okay. Then you have to stay. Hello. <laughs> hello, Ahmed. Uh, hello. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, uh, it is very interesting topic. Uh, like. the importance of english and some 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 time ago we discussed it amongst friends uh, amongst our friends so um, actually i have some opinions about english um, uh, english uh, language um, like 20 years ago or 20 30 years ago before this globalization i think the use of english was more of like uh, a status symbol in 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 a lot of countries like for example in pakistan in pakistan actually still today it is more more of a social social it is a symbol of your social class or something um, but with the advent of uh, globalization i think english is no more a language of english and you cannot associate the speakers of english to be anglophile or something like that because i think with the us speaking english and uh, english is becoming like uh, the language of uh, the mode of medium of communication in international businesses so i think it, in this day and age the importance of learning english has improved uh, but like for example there was a guy uh, yes 
Ali, the bouncer, he mentioned a point that like in his company, there was a guy who came and uh, his his communication skills in English were very good. So he was promoted and stuff and stuff. So I think I, I have problems with that kind of mentality. And uh, yeah, meaning like, like there is a general tendency in Pakistan to associate speaking of English with your intellectual in with your intellectual capacity. That is, I think, wrong. English is a language and it should be taken as a language. It is not a measure of intellect or something like that. And yes, in this day and age, English should be the second language of every citizen on this earth. Like, for example, when I was in Pakistan, I used to think or and at least it was conveyed that the Germans don't speak English, the Chinese don't speak English, the Koreans don't speak English. But when I have came out of Pakistan, I have met with people from various nationalities. And believe me that Germans speak very good English. Uh, the Chinese, uh, all the Chinese I have interacted with in the conferences, they speak good English. Uh, in Singapore, all of Singapore speak English. So, so yeah, these days English is an international language, and it should be the second language of every citizen. Yeah, that is. These are the points that I wanted to share. On on a lighter note, you look very much similar to my master supervisor in Czech Republic. If you can, <laughs> you can see him. Yes. I look, uh, <laughs> and I yeah really. Look, Yes. Really. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. I look like yeah. I look like Gary Oldman. I look like Sonu Nigam. I look like a lot of many, a lot of people. Isn't he? Isn't he so similar to him? I was like, my supervisor came to the show today. <laughs> and Ahmed, Ahmed, boy, I I was about to say that you were like uh, Mustafa Qureshi, but that would be rude. So I would say <laughs> no, 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 why rude? Well, actually, I, I like actually I, I like Mustafa Qureshi and Muhammad Ali. They were uh, their intellectual caliber. Was, of course, they were poetry. They were actually for Karla. The introduction of Mustafa Qureshi is that he was uh, uh, he was a masala film actor of Pakistani movies. And masala film actor means the typical uh, <laughs> typical like thug. Uh, he used to do thug roles of thugs and decoits in the Pakistani movies. So uh, the thing is that he was associated with the political party. So he had a political vision. He he worked he worked for the social causes. Mustafa Qureshi he worked for the social causes. So I rate Mustafa Qureshi much higher than the uh, classless actors that we that our younger generation is looking on our TV screens. So yeah, yeah I yeah. respect him. You are right. Very, very well they, said. They, they, they are very, very well said. They are, uh, can I say something? Uh, they are at least they are know how they are field, and right now, the actors know how not know how how to act and how to, uh, you know, he is just symbol of uh, uh, what we said, modernization and this type of thing. So, we, I love uh, legends, and they are. They are, they spend more time and they are they then they become a legion. Yeah, and moreover, they have the they have contribution to the to the society. They cared about the society. They actively partic participated in the politics of this country. So they deserve respect. Uh, yes. And thank you very much for giving me time to speak. Oh, you're more than welcome. Yeah. I was going to say you look a little like an Awawala, and I'm, I was wondering. <laughs> you look like everybody. <laughs> you look like everybody. Yeah. And I was wondering if you were a cousin for a while. Actually, actually I want to be a Lawala, but uh, let's see what happens. In, in, in literal sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I but was you... thinking of the Rehan Awawala. <laughs> <laughs> But you should come more often, ever by you know yeah, they, yeah. this kind of interactions are really really useful for not only us but everybody who is watching. So yeah, please come. Yeah, sure. 
Where did you yeah, find sure. the I, show? Uh, currently, uh, my my residence. No, no, the show. How did you find the show? Oh, actually, I was added with uh, Mr. Rehan Allahwala for quite uh, quite some time. So I just uh, found this uh, show and I just joined. Thank you for coming. Uh, you are welcome. And thank you, you made for some very strong points, Ahmed Bhai. You you yeah. made some very strong points, and they were all valid. And you portrayed it in extremely good measure. So I do agree with Dali that you should come more often. You you can teach a lot. Uh, there's a lot of people can learn from you. A lot of things. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Okay, who's next? Let me fight with this guy <laughs> on my mouse right now. Okay. Uh, but he's cute. Hi, Ali, son. I always forget your name. Yasin. Yasin. Hi, Yasin. Hi, Yasin. You can bug your father while he's on the show. Yeah. Especially when it was not his time to come. Uh, Mansoor Bhai is next. Ah, Mansoor. Are you muted? Carla. Hi, you and I are supposed to do a Facebook Live, aren't we? Uh, yes, uh, as I think Saryan told us, but uh, I think <laughs> you have not. Uh, um, hello? Maybe over the weekend. I'm not. Uh, yes. Sure. It's we done. Will I will try. At the end of next week. Okay. Please remind me. Okay. Send me a message. I will try to rem remind you, inshallah. And. Uh, Don't try. Uh, it's very important that you do it. He gives me all kinds. Of you know, I'm working with them, and I get all kinds of jobs every once in a while, and I forget. But you really yes, need will... to remind me. I really want to do it with you. You're the peace guy, right? Thank yeah, you, we, yes. I want to I will, do it. <laughs> I will do it, inshallah. So, how are you, Muhammad Ali Bhai, and what are you doing uh, in Islamabad, and how was your trip uh, we want to know about your Islamabad trip. Can you share, please? Mundo, I live in Islamabad. Oh, yes. I don't so, know this before. That's right. Sounds good. So, yeah, yeah. So, I attended this uh, conference with I, Ramadan, and it I was really good. that uh, you come. Yes. Now I get it. Mm -hmm. So, is there any question for me or I speak without any reason or without any topic. What do you want to say about the English language? Do you feel you should be speaking English? Yes, English language is very great and multinational language nowadays in the whole world. And so many people are speaking and talking in English language and learning or, and also teaching online in English language. And it is a very amazing language, and I think the world's largest communication language in the whole world. Very good. Your English is beautiful, so why are you nervous about it? Yes, I'm trying to do my best uh, on this language, um, on my improving my language, English language. And uh, as uh, my friend told me that you should listen only others to improve your English. So I am trying my best to improve my English. And your show is very good. Uh, even I cannot join it, but uh, it is very necessary for me that I should uh, hear your show. Because here... Uh, in my area, some problems are the problems. Sometimes other problems are means. <coughs> so that's why uh, that's why I come here uh, rare time to join you in your show, and I am very sorry for that. Are you uh, oh, hear me? You gotta come more often, Mansoor. 
Yeah. I want you here, and we will definitely do that Facebook Live. Okay. Thank you. Definitely, I will try to remind you. Inshallah. Don't so, try. Do it. It's going to be very important. Sorry. Uh, yes. I. I. How can I say it in fu for future statement? Means if I if I if I want to say for future target, so I think try is a suitable word for this that explanations. Can you suggest me any other word uh, for future uh, statement or future sentence? Say Ali Shuja, bhai, can you help us? Don't say I will. Can you try. help me? <laughs> Do. No, but um, I, will, I, will Carla, I think yes. I think he is he is thinking that he he used the wrong word. So he's thinking that he he used the wrong English. But we have to explain it to him that what you meant. You can you please try to explain what you meant when you said what don't you... try. Yes. Okay. Take off your hat and put it on your lap. Try to take off your hat right now. I will do. I will do it. Yeah, right. You will do. You don't try. You just do it. Right. Try to stand up. I'm stand up. Alhamdulillah. Let's see you stand up. Can you try, or are you going to stand up? There is no electricity in my room, and uh, there is darkness. I think okay. you cannot watch me. In stand up position. Do you get my point? When you try Sorry? to do something, excuse me. When you try to do something, you usually don't do it. When you decide you're going to do yes. it, you do it. Two days before I start jogging, because uh, some people advise me that you are getting heavy. Uh, in your weight, so you should uh, uh, try to walk or run. So I installed an app uh, in my mobile. That's uh, name is I think uh, runner, and it is saying me that uh, now you are duration is that, and your destination is that, and your uh, many things uh, means your calories and other many things. And that was amazing app for walking or for jogging. So, Alhamdulillah, I am taking advantage from this uh, app and I am uh, suggesting you, all of you in this show, that if you are to walk or jog, you must try this app because it's very great. For Thank you. you. Know, hundreds of people have told me hundreds of times that I'm fat and I should run, but I never do. <laughs> <laughs> and I am, and I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I love pizza. What can I do? Oh, and you don't look fat. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, Manzur, I will tell you what you said. Carla was saying. She was saying that when you are trying to say that English is not good. Whoa, 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 whoa. English. <laughs> Carla, I am trying to convey your message to him in Urdu so that he understands what he what you meant okay. because he's he still thinks that he made a mistake in English. No? Okay, help okay. him. <clears throat> so, Mandur bhai, when we say that I will do it, then it means that I will not do it. Okay? So, when you say that I will try it, then he says that I will try it. So, he didn't make a mistake in English. Now, he says that when you say that I will do it, then he says that I will do it. I will not do it. I will not do it. Yes, we can understand you. You can understand us. Of course. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Yes. Now I can understand Carla in English language and you as well. And I am very thankful both of you because you are teaching us English in a very best way, in a very loving way. And all of us, are, right. not both, both of us, all of us. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> co eight. co hosts, our co hosts, yeah. and uh, yeah. it's so okay, Ali. <laughs> your <laughs> Carla appreciation is our appreciation. Don't, don't, don't do it. Everybody is too sweet today. I, I will get more fat today. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mansur Bhai. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, so, whatever you Thank want, you please. <laughs>
You are most welcome, Carla. Remember, send me that note. <laughs> I want to talk to you, okay? Okay. All right. Um, so I am sure that Yusuf Khan was the last one, but uh, Lukman, you brought him in, Carla? Yeah. Okay, Look, so... when can we talk to you next week? Because I really need to go soon. Is that okay? Hi, Carla. How are you? Is that okay? Because you're here a lot anyway. I'm okay. Okay, thank you very, very much. You brought in Muhammad Yusuf Khan. Alex. I'm going. I'm going to speak to him uh, for a few minutes. So that You're I'm, right. You are. I'm, I am. I'm taking the responsibility. <laughs> don't don't punch me on my face. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, Mr. Bai. Oh, alaikum salam. Uh, how are you guys uh, doing? Uh, sorry, I got late. Uh, I tried my best uh, just to. Uh, join the show, but uh, I got a bit late. But uh, this, this is, uh, you guys are so kind to uh, allow me in in the in the, in the room. So that's that's really kind of you guys. Not a problem, not at all. Um, so I'm happy you came. So yeah, yeah. Mm, thank and you, thank you, I Baba. I remember your face, Yusubai, but I forgot where you're from. So can you reintroduce yourself a little bit? Okay. Um, actually, I'm basically from Rawalpindi uh, right now. Currently, I'm in Malaysia. I'm working uh, as an engineer. Uh, and uh, moreover, in the past, uh, I was working on uh, different projects, uh, social projects. And uh, I'm a great fan of uh, this chat room because uh, every, you, uh, uh, I love the way you welcome everyone. Uh, uh, so that like uh, whenever I came here, I it, it uh, like I feel like a family. Oh, those are big Good. words. I'm glad you do. Very, very important words. I think uh, Carla is super happy. I can see all her teeth right now. <laughs> like uh, you guys are really like uh, you. You deserve it because you guys are really <laughs> consistent. Uh, in doing like, this job, uh, I, I, I would say selflessly because, uh, uh, like you guys are spreading, uh, knowledge and, uh, like, uh, that, that, that's what I like in you guys. And, uh, the, uh, the, the most important thing is the love you, uh, give to everyone who come, the respect you give to everyone who come. Uh, so that's uh, something really mean a lot and uh, that's what motivate me every time to come again and again and whenever I see uh, so I just rush into the uh, room I just so first of all I see because it's a time difference here now it's uh, 1am in the night here so uh, it's a time difference so I just uh, 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 see every time I see the time and I just rush into the chat room so that I can find uh, I can get chance, and uh, most of the time you, I get. You so buy one tear is coming out of this side. Of <laughs> so we are we are almost uh, nine o'clock. So uh, Pakistan time. Yeah, no. it's one a.m. Uh, in Pakistan, it's ten. I think so. It's ten. Amrin, no, nine. Uh, Amrin, <laughs> your yes. your watch. You need to change no, the no, set no. of your watch. Uh, <laughs> when we are going live, we uh, the yeah. time was uh, nine o'clock. Not, not so right. Now. Okay. So you can join early. Yeah. Okay. But where yeah, for is he located? He's not in Pakistan. No, I'm uh, mm. saying uh, he can join us early. That yeah, uh, I'm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually today uh, on Friday, uh, on every Friday, uh, Pakistani party they here uh, they just get together and they play cricket from nine to twelve. So I just uh, finished the cricket at twelve and I just rushed to home uh, and uh, I, I made it to made to the show every time at uh, maybe 
uh, 12.44 or something like that. So uh, every time I get lucky uh, uh, to find the chance to speak here. So that's, that's my song. Okay, Yusuf Bhai. Um, so sorry that we are nearing, we are like 13 minutes over time already, but I really, really wanted yeah. to talk to you because I brought you in. And uh, please come back again, okay? Uh, those yeah, words definitely. were really important for us. Yeah, yeah definitely. they are. And thank you so much for coming. I hate to make this a quick conversation, okay. but I have mm -hmm. to today. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for bringing me in and uh, giving me the chance to speak. Okay. Um, we're going to wave goodbye now. And I just want to talk to everyone just for two minutes and we're, we'll be gone. Let's wave goodbye. Everyone wave. Okay. And we okay, will goodbye. see you on Monday. Same yeah. time, same channel, same everything, but a different link. Bye.